Hello guys and welcome to today's tutorial video. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through the process of creating a new company and adding the company's details using Sage Payroll. We're going to be utilizing this particular tutorial question. On the left side of your screen, you will see the necessary information to set up the new company. On the right side, we have the details that we will be entering into the system for the new company. Before we dive into the lesson, I'd like to mention that if you're interested in gaining access to this payroll system, either through free usage, a subscription purchase, or a physical product purchase, we have a collection of informative blog posts that can provide you with the guidance you need. As you can see, I have a few tabs open on my screen. Firstly, I have the Sage Accounting for free um, for 30 days. And I have um, another post here that has to do with the subscription purchase. So I'll walk you through all of this blog post. If you are interested in experiencing Sage Payroll's capabilities at no cost, we have a dedicated blog post, which is the first on the first tab, the one that we have open right now which explains how you can access and use this payroll software for free for a period of 30 days. Rest assured, Sage will never request for your banking details during this free trial. It's a risk-free opportunity to evaluate whether Sage Payroll aligns with your payroll management needs. Therefore, you can use this 30 days period in order to evaluate if whether you want to use Sage Payroll to manage um, the payroll needs for your practice or if you want to use the system for educational purposes, you can also do that for a period of 30 days. Once the free trial elapses, you can decide to subscribe for another free trial or you can decide whether you want to now upgrade to a um, paid subscription after you have evaluated whether Sage Payroll is um, relevant to your business needs. So go, you'll go through going through this. This blog post right here has a comprehensive guidelines on how to go about registering for your free trial and start using the system. So if you'd like to register for a free trial, either for Sage Accounting or Sage Payroll, you can go through this particular blog post and it will assist you with registering for the free trial and commencing with the usage of that particular software. To access this blog post, we have the link that we have included in the description box below. So you can just click right there and then it will take you to the blog post, which will guide you on how to register for your free trial. Next up on the third tab, for those considering Sage as their go-to solution for accounting and payroll, we highly recommending that you check out this blog post this post provides valuable insights into securing significant discounts and coupons when you register through our Sage affiliate links. The coupons on this blog post 
are regularly updated, ensuring you make substantial services on your software subs um, subscription. Whether it's for yourself or someone close to you, this blog post is a gateway to your affordable Sage payroll, Sage accounting, or any other Sage software subscriptions. You will notice that on this blog post, we have comprehensive um, information on why you should be choosing Sage for your accounting and payroll needs. And also we have some coupons in, um, in, included in this. So you, if you want to save massively on the, on the subscription on any of the Sage um, solutions, then consider befriending this particular blog blog right here in addition to the blog post mentioned um, we also have range of educational content and special offers on our blog as you can see I have some of the blog posts open I have some of the blog posts open it includes um, some educational content and some offers that we have in store for you. So if the two blog posts that we presented to you were helpful to you, then you can consider going onto our com um, full blog and um, securing yourself some beneficial information right there and um, some offers as well. Without further delay, let's embark on today's lesson. When you open Sage Payroll, you'll be greeted with this particular screen right here. To initiate the process of adding a new company, you simply click on Add Company. Then you need to go and insert the company number. Our company number is as in the screen. I'm just going to insert it right there. You need to insert the company's name. The company's name is Shopwell Designs. We're also going to put it there. And then we click on Next. On the cycle details now, the cycle is the pay period from which you add, you want to add um, the financial history or the pay period you want to start paying your employees. So meaning as our pay period is 1 February 2022, it means our employees will start getting paid. Um, depending on whether it's a monthly or a bi-weekly or a weekly um, cycle, they'll start getting paid. Um, if it's monthly, they'll start getting paid at the end of February. Okay. Um, so our cycle pay period is 1 February. February 2022. Our cycle name is salaries. And then you click on exclude UIF if your employees are exempt from paying UIF. You exclude SDL as well if your employees are exempt from paying SDL. You're going to click on the checkbox for pro rata annual bo um, bonus if your employees did not work for a full 12 months and you'd like to pro rata that particular bonus um the 18th check in this tutorial video or in this tutorial question it says to not select of any of the check boxes so we'll just leave it like that and click on next on data retention now you need to um, provide the period in which you want the data to be kept. 
which the minimum is five um yes so we are just gonna go with five years as our tutorial question doesn't have um doesn't touch on that and then we're just gonna click on finish and then once after creating your company you will have this particular screen where you have to insert your company's details so we'll just go ahead and insert this particular details as given on this particular tutorial question um so you will notice that the company number is pre-populated because we had to insert the number when we we're creating the company the company name as well and then we need to go and insert the company's registration number so i'll just go and copy it as it is and paste it right there and then you need to also insert the payee reference number i'll copy it and paste it there as well trade classification now you need to um select the industry in which your company is operating in so our company is in furniture designing it's number seven which is wood products and furniture there so i'm just gonna say home furniture instead and then you will notice that the sdl and the uif are pre-populated as well because the sdl is the same as your payee reference number however this the first number on the payee is replaced by the letter l and the letter u um, on the sdl and the uif respectively now the uif um, registration number with the department of labor if you also have that you're just gonna um, insert it right there and then now you need to go and select the classification for that partic for the particular industry so this will be your main trade trade um the code for the um your industry so you just go through um what is it exactly that the entity is doing um in the furniture industry so just to save on time i'm not gonna go through all of this looking for what the entity is doing i'm just gonna select um any of the above but remember you need to be um detailed or um you need to select the correct option on this particular classification as it may affect a lot of um, items including your tax um, capital allowances and everything so you need to go and select the correct classification so i'm just going to select any um, and then um, i'll just complete this as um, requested so you complete this with regards to your specific entity just to save on time i'm not gonna do everything um, as given on the this tutorial question so here you're just going to go and insert your company's physical address um, we can perhaps go and copy put it there unit number 240 
complex name, village walk, shopping center, street number one, and then we have our city just i'll just say pretoria in this case um just gonna say the postal code is that our country is south south africa the postal code you click on that if you wanted to populate from your physical address um, this is what we are told to do in the tutorial question so i'm just gonna do that sars contact person um will enter this um the email address you have to come up with the email address the telephone number just going to put it there so this will be the person responsible for correspondences with SARS. Once we are done with everything, we're just going to click on save. And then your company's details will be successfully saved. This concludes our tutorial video. If you found this video informative and valuable, we kindly request your support in helping us grow by liking, subscribing, commenting, and sharing our content. In doing so, you enable us to continue providing you with more insightful tutorials and resources. Thank you for being part of our community, and we look forward to seeing you in the future endeavors. Until next time.